What is going on, Fight Fans? By popular demand, we are continuing season two of Boxers Road to the Real. Now, important developments on this game. I have hit the age of 37 years old, and my trainer has uh, warned me or threatened to retire me, to force me into retirement if I lose any of my belts or if I lose a fight. So now it's like, damn, bro, you trying to make me Floyd. You want me to be Floyd Mayweather right now? Like, I can't lose. No, I got to turn into the wise old man and, and just I can't lose. That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot. Like, it, it's one thing I could lose and I could think of, like, how to come back and try to win. No, if I lose, it's over. I'm trying to become undisputed. I'm two belts away to becoming undisputed at cruiserweight and then I want to move up to heavyweight to become undisputed there I want to be three division undisputed but my my coach has threatened me that if I if I if I lose if I lose from now on he can't he can't continue to see me uh, 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 in there for no reason it'll be for no reason I have to prove to him essentially every single time I have to be perfect from now on if I want to do this so I'm I have to defend my IBS world title uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing right now and let's go ahead and jump right into it. and as you know guys I always have to do my sparring sessions I was not able to find anybody that has 190 pounds so this is I actually haven't played the game in a while too oh my gosh I don't even know what I'm doing I don't even know what I'm doing all right here we go I took a break, which is good for you guys, because the continuity of what's going on. Oh, man, this guy's... What the heck? This guy's slow as heck. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of my rhythm in here. But this guy real slow. All right, come on. Boom. Man, I'm so worried about that, bro. Now, if you guys haven't, don't know, you know, Boxers Road is uh, boxes road 2 is a psp game right came out in 2007 it is my favorite boxing game uh, ever and it's actually probably the hardest boxing game ever made in terms of um yeah it, it's it's definitely 100 the hardest boxing game ever made I, I can't imagine any boxing game being harder than boxes row two and the reason that i say that is because that's simply because of the ai the ai is super uh smart and adaptable and there and you actually get to see the the internal workings of that stuff right they show you how things get adjusted based on what's going on if they're getting hit too much they increase their defense if they're if they're not doing well on the inside it detects that and they start uh being more on the working more on the outside so it's very uh, detailed in terms of the adjustments and the AI. This guy's super slow, man. I don't even know if he's gonna help me right now. But he's 183 pounds. That's the highest weight that I was able to find. Uh, and we paid him too, because no, he was the heaviest person. I want to get as close to you know uh, the weight as possible. Get that guard. Practice some of that using that guard. There we go, it's some body shots. Bang, man, this guy's easy. Alright, switch to sway again. Yeah, so yeah, it's coming back. It's like riding a bike, man. <clears throat> so I hope I'm good. <laughs> I hope I'm good for the actual fight. So, like I said, it, it's not just harder because of the fact that it's uh AI adaptability and all that stuff. Oh, he's about to get knocked down. But it's also hard because just maintaining your fighter. Uh, just keeping him uh, c being able to contend even for a international, even for a national title, let alone a world title, uh, making weight, all that stuff is hard. It's real hard. Uh, and and even though it's in Japanese, right? That that's not the hard. That's not hard at all because you get the Google, the Google app, and, and it does video translate. So you basically put it up onto the screen, and it tells you everything that you see there. If there's anything that they say that you don't understand, you just use the Google app. And you're good, but what makes it hard is the is the managing of your fighter, the 
the the whole thing behind the scenes. I know I'm gonna knock him down. The whole thing behind the scenes, getting like trying to make him a viable fighter, trying to pass your protest, trying to make sure you you keep on, uh, you stay at the right weight. But it's a balance. It's not just like oh, eat right so you can stay at the right weight. No, if you if you try to make your weight go down, your bad health goes up because you're you're not eating enough. Right, uh, or if you're overtraining, but then if you don't train enough, uh, you don't get out a lot out of it, out of your training. So you're you're kind of not progressing fast enough to get yourself the best possibility of trying to get a world title quicker and be uh, a contender, a good contender. So it's a lot of things, a lot of little things, man, and that's what makes the game hard. And here we go with the weigh-in. Came in at 189 and three fourths, so we're keeping our belt on the scale at least. All right, here we go. We are defending our belt, our IBS belt, against Luis Cannon Centeno. And, of course, damn, we reached 2019. We're almost at this year, which is crazy. Because the season and everything started in 2007. That's how long we've been playing. Here we go. And now, cruiserweight title match. 12-round match. There he is. The guy that wants my belt, the number one contender. Now, because of all this being very critical, I'm I'm basically gonna show you guys every fight, every fight. As long as you guys like the content, let me know you like the content. You are gonna get every fight. Here we go, rocking the vintage uh, pink that I used to rock before with the but with different trunks. Always trying to show you guys a different look. You already know. You already know, got it. We gotta keep the drip coming. We we won 48, had 50 United bouts States, with two draws. Costa Rica. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem. It's a national anthem. We're gonna go ahead and uh let's alright. We see both the flags. Okay, we'll go ahead, go ahead and skip that. Here we go. Here we go. I actually have not played in a while, but after that little sparring session I had. I feel like a little bit of the muscle memory has come in, and I am a 37-year-old man. This guy's young, man. Compared to me, he's almost 10 years younger than me, 28, and he's probably a hungry lion trying to get this cruiserweight world title. So, it is what it is. And I'm coming from that side. Oh, yeah, it's true, because I'm the champ. I always forget when I defend my title, I come on from the other side. Woo! Woo! Ooh, ooh. I still got it though. I still got it. I want to take my title away and force me into retirement. What? Oh man, don't tell me. Don't tell me, man. Don't tell me I'm like super weak just because I'm old. Ah, this game is deep, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised, bro. My man just hit me once. I thought I feel like the game is trying to force me into retirement. I'm gonna have to beat the game. At, at, at its own game, you know what I'm saying? Like, the game is trying to force me into the time and get, catch him with the jab, though. Woo! Angle him out. You gotta angle out. Don't, don't get in a firefight with this young stud. Don't get in a firefight with this young stud. This young lion. Be smart. Ooh, nice lean back. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Oh, uppercut. Abaka hurt him. Let's go. Let's go. I'm still, yo. You got to rip this title off of me, bro. You got to rip this title off of me. First round knockout. Why did you even challenge me, bro? Why did you even challenge? You got to rip. Rip this title out of my hands. Rip it off of my waist. It's, it's damn near tattooed on my body. You gonna give me an ultimatum, coach? This is what I did. I put a state. I did a. This is a statement to my coach. Don't know. Don't, don't tell me nothing like that, man. Cause I'm gonna be a. I'm gonna be an even hungrier lion than when I was a hungry lion trying to get the belts. Anyways, <laughs> I guess that was it. That was the fight. All right. So the next fight we have, I'm gonna make sure I film it, record it. Whatever it is, if I'm fighting for the number one contendership for the other world titles, I'm missing two more at the cruiserweight. We're going to go ahead and post that. All right, guys. Until the next one, peace out.